Stories of the Greeks' David versus Goliath courage that changed the trajectory of the Second World War. Now these stories are being told by some of the most admired people on the planet. Democracy, self-determination, the notion that every man of every station has the right to be heard, that men and women of courage could change the fortunes of a nation. That's epitomized in 1940. The Greek Prime Minister answered the Axis forces' request for surrender with one word, ohi, or no. Ohi day, and the Greek Prime Minister and the story of him saying ohi was a David Goliath struggle. It was the first country to really stand up to the Axis powers. The Prime Minister of Greece notified the World War II German and Axis forces that Greece would not surrender. After the world watched the Axis forces overwhelm 15 countries in less than a year, Greece became the first to defeat the Axis invasion, leading United States President Franklin Roosevelt to say, when the entire world had lost all hope, the Greek people dared to question the invincibility of the German monster, raising against it in the proud spirit of freedom. In the very place where democracy was born, they risked everything so that it might survive. This is the essence, in so many ways, of Greek courage. Their courage is something that I think few people in the world can claim. The Greek people who stood up so valiantly for freedom and democracy uh, in the Second World War against the seemingly unstoppable Nazis. The courage of the Greeks during Second World War was something in which I took pride, as though they were my very own people. It was Winston Churchill who noted, if there had not been the virtue and courage of the Greeks, we do not know what the outcome of World War II would have been. It's not a story that has been told enough. Winston Churchill had a right when he said, and I quote, hence, we will not say that Greeks fight like heroes, but that heroes fight like Greeks. Ohi means no. Ohi. 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 No.